A home in Hope, Indiana, caught fire Tuesday, causing as much as $70,000 in damage. Good news, no one was injured, but the reason behind that fire has area fire departments alerting you, the public. 24-hour news aide Brenna Donnelly joins us now with more. This is interesting. That's right, guys. I'm holding it in my hand here. This is the cause of that house fire in Hope, a frayed cell phone charge cord, probably just like the one you have in your car, your office, or bedroom. It's not just an annoying electronic. Firefighters tell me it's a real hazard. It's lunchtime in Hope, Indiana, just outside Columbus, and a passerby notices this, a house fire off Market Street causing fifty to $70,000 in damage. Bartholomew County fire investigators say it came from one of these, a frayed cell phone charge cord inside the bedroom. We just unplug it and throw it away. Carmel firefighters say they see electronic spark house fires regularly from things like power tools, hair dryers, headphones, power strips, and they want the public to know even a frayed cord can spark one. We've seen these on a, a few of our fires where the cord, the outer layer of it will actually break down and the, uh, the inside wires can start to touch and they will start to spark or short out and if it's in a location where there's something flammable like bed sheets or pillows, there is the possibility that it could cause a fire. So what do you do with a frayed cord? Electrical tape, right? get them replaced um, because if they're starting to break down you don't want to use them. We don't recommend that you try to fix anything yourself. We, it, they're cheap enough that you can just buy a brand new one. Regardless of if your cord is frayed or not, after incidents of batteries heating up, fire officials urge you to follow this advice. We all have a phone, we all have a charger next to the bed, um, so that's why we recommend not putting it on the bed or on clothes or on a towel. Always make sure that you've got your phone plugged in on a hard surface and that your wires are uh, maintained and up to date. Now, if you remember, the total cost of that house fire in Hope was as much as $70,000. The cost of a new charge cord is about 20 bucks. Just the cost of maintaining your phone, guys, yeah. I guess. We're, we're guilty of it, right? Yeah. I yes. mean, ours is uh, behind our bed, and so the bed pushes up against it, it and it well, causes them to bend and like that. they don't that. last very long, and they are, I mean, they're kind of expensive, 20, 30 yeah. bucks. But yeah. if it really could save a difference of your house burning down sure. or not, that's kind of worth the investment. Yeah, we'll do our best with yeah. it. <laughs> Thanks, Brenna. Thanks, guys.